And speaking of weather. A lot of things, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I depend on it. Uh, we're going to follow that, of course, and I know you're both excited uh, that the weekend uh, is here, although for us it's going to take a little longer to get here. That's all right. Saturday and Sunday, I think, you know, we have to be careful about just uh, saying, you know, it's going to be dry. It is going to be mostly dry, but I want you to keep in mind that in the morning hours with the southeast wind, we're likely going to get a couple of showers that will sneak in here. At times, it may look like it's going to rain all day, but it won't. It'll end up uh, averaging mostly dry. I think we're looking pretty good. Temperatures in the triple digits will likely get another heat advisory tomorrow. We'll make, uh, you know, we'll be close to 50. I uh, think by the time we get into next week. Here are radar and clouds, and again, for the most part, you know, not much action here, but a few showers sneaking up on that southeast wind. And sometimes when you look at next radar network, uh, there's nothing there, and then a shower pops up uh, with that very low level moisture that doesn't really amount to much as far as accumulation, but it can get uh, in, uh, in the way of your plans, especially through the morning. I showed you this frontal boundary here. This will eventually slowly, I mean, this is going to take a lot days before this sags further south, and that will begin to to increase our rain chances here. But I think for the weekend, we're looking pretty good. Whatever you have outdoors, keep it. Uh, I think it's going to be stellar here with the uh, hot and humid conditions. Yeah, that's you know, early September here in the South Florida, so we can deal with that. Next weather rain tracker, things winding down for tonight, but then see tomorrow at 3 a.m. Uh, so obviously most of us not wo uh, woken up yet, but six, if you have plans right along the coast, right along the beach, we'll have those nuisance showers that'll be getting us in the morning, and then we'll transition into inland afternoon storms. The same pattern we've been in the last few days, same deal. Here comes Sunday morning again a few showers in the morning and then everything kind of you know transitions over to the uh, west kickoff one o'clock there it is on Sunday looking good I think we're going to be dry for tailgating and that uh, whatever you're going to be doing outside for the rest of your Sunday let's check in on rain tallies here not much everything's still on the southwestern part of the peninsula and just in general and this is through Sunday a tenth of an inch perhaps if we get a strong enough cell going over your neighborhood, you can get a quarter of an inch of rainfall, but that is going to be about it uh, looking good here in the tropics. We had five circles just in the last couple of days. National Hurricane Center has been popping the circles and you know they're gone at this point here. This is nothing a tropical wave that has barely any chance of making it out in the eastern Atlantic. The only thing that's left really is the wave that we've been tracking all week. That's the one over Yucatan right now. And as it emerges over the Bay of Campeche, it could gain some tropical characteristics here over the next few days, about 40% chance so that's up from yesterday and then it heads into Mexico with some heavy rain perhaps even clipping up portions of Texas there where they don't need additional rain because that frontal boundary has been stuck there with plenty of rainfall the last few days rip currents on the moderate side I'll leave you with your forecast heading in through a tomorrow rain chances again about 20 to 30 percent even a little bit lower as we head through Sunday so if you're heading out to the game boy that's going to be nice for our home opener and then heading into next week as I mentioned moisture increasing along with rain chances